Watt said at that point, well, it's always been an, an integrated neighborhood, but integration meant black and brown with some Japanese as such. And we referred to it, even where we live, as our homes. We didn't say our apartment, you know, or the PG. That was people on the outside. We never thought of ourselves as poor, economically. Number one, because everybody was in the same financial shape. Until you've been on the bottom of Shalika to know what it is to have to scuffle, to make ends meet. And I mean that very, very literally, where uh, sometimes you don't know what you're going to eat that night, or if you're going to eat at all, or where you're going to lay your head to sleep. As a, a senior lecturer in the writing program, that was a three-year contract senior lecturer as high as you could go as such. My first two years as second year, I was here, I got the university's Distinguished Teaching Award. First time in the history of CSUN that a lecturer, as opposed to a tenured professor, got the Distinguished Teaching Award. If you had said to me then, Professor Scott, do you know you're going to be here for the next 25, 26, 27 years of your life? I just said, uh, Shalika, what's that you smoking? <laughs> Pleased and proud to say that I was part of the team that helped Drew School, as we call it, to become the first, at that time we called it, black medical school. To be able to get the house and, and help the family get on its feet was one thing. To be able to go uh, to the White House was certainly an accomplishment. There are no magic bullets. And when I say magic bullets, I wish there was a panacea so where I could say, well, where there's a will, there's a way. Or if you just work hard, you'll make it because uh, life is full of stories of people who worked hard and never made it. Uh, that needs to be, you know, like understood. So this business about pulling yourself up by your bootstraps, while it sounds good, what do you say to people that have no boots? so to speak, uh, to pull up. And you got to believe, in spite of the fact that you're living in uh, what is still a racist society that every day gives you reasons uh, to give up, uh, reasons to drop out of the race. Uh, you got to hold strong.